Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we will set up LD Micro to program peak microcontrollers in C mode and then upload the real time clock program that we made for the Arduino Nano in tutorial 14 into the peak. A quick reminder like, subscribe, and share. To set up LD Micro to program peak microcontrollers in C mode, Download MPLAB version 8.84 from the link in the description below. This version of MPLAB contains two necessary applications for this purpose. ITEC-C compiler for PIC-16 microcontrollers and PK-3CMD.exe. Select the custom setup type. Ensure that PK-3CMD is selected as well as ITEC-C for PIC 10, 12, 16. On the dialog box that asks, do you want to run ITEC-C installer now? Click yes to install. In your LD Micro folder, right click on build PIC16.bat to edit it. Scroll down to the Set PCC Path section and change the path version to 9.83. Verify that this path matches your installation location. Or right click on the address bar and click Copy Address as text. Paste it as the Set PCC Path. Then save and exit. To program PIC 16 microcontrollers directly from LD Micro with the PIC Kit 3 programmer, right click on flashmcu.bat to edit it. Scroll down to PIC 16 section. Ensure that this set to path matches your installation location. Or right click on the address bar and click copy address as text. Paste it as the set to path, then save and exit. Right click on this PC and select properties. Click on advanced system settings, then environment variables. Double click on path under the user variable for user section. Verify that the path for iTechC and the PIC kit 3 are listed here. If not, click on new and paste the ITEC-C path and the PK3CMD path. Then click OK, OK and OK to exit and save. Now let us configure the PIC microcontrollers for I2C LCD. From your LD micro folder, double click on Libraries for and then PIC16. Right click on i2c lib.h to edit it. Add your i2c LCD address here, hexadecimal 27 for mine, and ensure that 255 is here. Then save and exit. Let us have a brief look at the PIC16F876 microcontroller. It has 28 pins with the master reset at pin 1. It has Port C in addition to port A and port B as in PIC16F628A. The I2C SCL and SDA pins share the same pins as ROC3 and ROC4 of pins 14 and 15 respectively. Get the data sheet from the link in the description below. Now set up this I2C LCD and DS3231 with PIC16F876 microcontroller circuits on your breadboard. Connect your PIC Kit 3 programmer to the microcontroller pins as shown. Let us do a little modification to the real time clock LD micro program from tutorial 14. The add instruction is used to replace the counter instruction. A one shot falling and move instructions were added to the menu sections of 1 to 5. It enables the addition of a function that moves the menu to the next option when the enter button is pressed. Then select P 
PIC 16F876 microcontroller from the settings menu. Also, set the MCU crystal frequency to be 20 MHz from the MCU parameter option of the settings menu. Assign pin ROA0 of the peak to X menu. ROA1 to X ink. ROA2 to X deck. ROA3 to X enter. ROC3 to SCL and ROC4 to SDA. Then select Compile ITEX C for Peak from the Compile menu. Save in the same folder as your ladder program. And then select Build C solution to generate the X file. The X file is in the bin folder inside the HTC folder of your project folder. You can upload your code with the PIC K3 programmer as demonstrated in tutorial 5. Or call flash MCU from the compile menu as earlier configured. This error code came up because of the absence of 5V power supply to the PIC microcontroller. Provide the power supply and call flash MCU again. Observe that in setting the date and time, when the enter button is pressed after the necessary adjustments, the next option setting is selected. Now you can upload all previous ladder code we made for the Arduino Nano into your favorite peak microcontroller. Please don't forget to click on the like button if you found this video helpful and let me know what you think about this tutorial. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not. Hope to see you in our next video.